Welcome to Training Mug's Java Coding Challenges series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge that is how to find out greatest common divisor or greatest common factor of given two numbers. So let us understand the logic like how we are going to find out uh, the greatest common divisor or greatest common factor of given two numbers. First of all, we'll understand what is GCD or greatest common factor. So we know that what is a factor, a number which divides another number uh, is called as a factor. Example, suppose if you take a 10 and then what are the factors for this number is like 1, 2 and then 5. So this is the factor. So if you take 15, then the factors are going to be 1, 3, 5. So now uh, the greatest common factor is now if you look at these two numbers what is the common factors you have is 1 and then 5 but what is the greatest common factor in this is 5 so we need to identify what is the greatest common factor for this let us take an another number to demonstrate example suppose i'll take 36 and then what are the uh, factors for 36 is 1 2 3 4 and you have 6 and you have uh, 9 and you have 12 then you have um, 36 the number itself so and then second you have a 60 let us understand what are the common factors for 60 like exactly 1 2 3 and then here 4 uh, and then here you have 6 and 10 you have then 12 you have uh, then you have 20 then 15 etc so now if you look at what is a common factor in both of this is there are lot many common factors but highest common factor or greatest common factor is 12 so how are you going to find out what is the greatest common factor so there are various ways to find out but uh, there is an algorithm called euclidean algorithm which says that how we are going to find out the greatest common divisor the algorithm is a bit complex but i'm now trying to make it simple so this algorithm is based on two factors the first factor is so if you're going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number the gcd is not going to change so now what generally is going to do this now example suppose this 60 this 36 if you take are 15 and then 10 you take now what generally they'll do is what is the bigger number that is 15 and then they'll subtract it with 10 and then this will become 5 and they'll subtract these values and then the least value they'll assign it to the highest value now the 10 now will become uh, or if you if you consider this as a and then this is b now let us understand a is bigger and then b is smaller so what we do is we subtract 10 from 15 and then the result is going to be 5 okay now what generally we do is uh, this now a now will be 5 and then the least value that whatever you are going to put that exactly is b and then this will become now a a is already 5 so now this will become 5 so now they'll they'll adjust these values of both a and then b in such a way that a must be equal to b so if this situation when it satisfies then the value at which these conditions satisfy is going to be the greatest common divisor now in this case 5 at 5 they both are going to be equal so then the 5 is going to be the greatest common divisor so this is what a simple uh, uh, algorithm uh, which is very efficient to find out the greatest common divisor and then you have one more approach also to find out by using uh, a reminder operation that is what division operation that i'll explain you while i write with the code so now let us understand how you are going to write the code for this particular Euclidean algorithm. So here if you are keep on doing this operation to uh, reach to a situation where a equals to b then you have to definitely use a recursive function. So this program we are going to demonstrate by using a recursive function. Now let's code it in Eclipse. So let me create a new class in my project to demonstrate this so i'm just naming these classes gcd of two numbers so now uh let me take my main method and click on finish 
so here i'll just take these two numbers or if you want to take it from the console you can take it now uh, for simple i'm just taking two numbers uh, to calculate number one is equal to 10 and the number two is equal to 15 and we need to calculate the greatest common divisor for this as we understood we are going to use our uh, euclidean algorithm so for demonstrating the euclidean algorithm as i told you like what is the uh, biggest number is that is 15 here and then we need to subtract this with a 10 to reach to a point where number one is going to be equal to the number two so how we are going to do that so now here we're going to write a function to calculate that uh, um, uh, this will return our uh, the greatest common divisor that nothing but the uh, integer now i'm going to take these two numbers as a parameter integer number one and the number two so initially first we'll check whether number one and the number two are zeros or if they are zeros now then the greatest common divisor is going to be just zero so what we are going to do is now we'll check if number one is equal to zero or number two is equal to zero then the greatest common divisor is going to be zero so just simply we are going to return zero in this case so otherwise otherwise we need to check like uh, what is the condition here ultimately when the number one equals to number two that is number one double equals to number two then e this now will become the gcd of these two numbers so either i can return number one or i can return number two so now we need to repeatedly call this function to make this condition satisfied that this number one must be equal to number two then only we can get a common common divisor in both of them so how we are going to do this so as per euclidean algorithm the euclidean algorithm says that you know to repeatedly uh, call the same function by subtracting uh, the greater value i mean the smaller value from the bigger value in this case you know to check which one is higher so how we are going to check is now simply we are going to say that if number one is greater than number two then what we need to do is we need to call a uh, repeatedly call my gcd function by changing the value of the uh, uh, lowest number example suppose now what we're doing is if number one is higher now what i'm going to do is i'm now changing this value by subtracting number one minus number two and then we are not going to change the lower number we are going to change only the greater number that is in this case number one is a higher so what we're going to do is now we're going to say number one minus number two and then here we are now going to change the number two and this is what we repeatedly call or else so else what we're going to do is we are going to say number two is now higher so we don't need to change the number one and then we need to change the number two by subtracting the number one because number two is highest so this is what a simple logic uh, to demonstrate and then i'll uh, dig into to understand how this uh, algorithm works now simple what we are going to do is now we are going to print uh, the gcd is so we are going to call this uh, function gct of by passing number one comma number two so we're getting an error here why because uh, uh, main is a static method so but this gcd is an instance method so what we need to do is i need to create it to be a static method so now let us run this program to check the output so now the greatest common divisor we got is five and then let us check it with the other two numbers which we discussed in our logic that is 36 and then 16 and then when you're going to run it then we got the greatest common divisor that is equal to 12. so how it is going to work so now we'll take the simple example like 10 and then 15 so it will be easy for us to evaluate and then let me run it so we got 5 how it will happen so first it is now going to get number 1 as 10 and then number 2 as 15 first it will check this condition is false so it does not return 0 and then this condition also false because 10 is not equal to 15 so this condition false so now it will try to execute this number 1 which is 10 10 greater than 15 this is wrong so that it will go to the else part in else part we are calling the recursive function by passing number 1 as it is so number 1 value was 10 but now number 2 will become number 2 minus number 1 that will 15 minus 10 now the number 2 will become 5 so now number 1 is 10 and then number 2 is 5 and then when it enters here this is not true it is not going to return this is also not true it is not going to return but now number 1 is greater now what it will do is because this number 1 is 10 now number 2 is 5 number 1 is greater so this condition will execute now it is now repeatedly calls now what it is going to do the number 1 which is values 10 minus 5 this will become 5 this 5 will be passed to number 1 
and then number two as it is we are not changing so number two is just five so number two will be passed to five and then this condition now will become false but this condition is true so simply it will return number one so in this case both number one and the number two has become five so that's the reason your gcd is now going to return your gcd function is going to return either number one or number two because they both are same now in this case we got the five so like that you can check this same algorithm by passing any number of values which is having a common factors uh, to find out what is the greatest common factor in both of them. This is what one approach of using subtracting the smaller number from a bigger number. There is one more approach, a very simple approach, uh, which can say that you can also do the reminder operation. Uh, simple. So what we do is whatever may be the number. Uh, uh, so you are entering. So what we do is we divide the second number uh, uh, with the first number. Uh, using the device and operation how it is going to work. I'll just going to demonstrate it So now here we are going to demonstrate till the number one will become the reminder uh, 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 The remind uh, the number one will become zero. So how we are going to do that is first of all we'll check Or you can work this uh, logic both with number one and number two now what we do is we'll take if number one is equal to zero Then according to this logic your number two now will become the greatest common divisor now how it is going to perform is otherwise what we need to do is we need to repeatedly call the gct function by passing this operation number two we reminder it with number one and then we are not going to uh, and then we are going to assign number one to number two so now this logic uh, helps you to find out whether the number one will become zero or not so <coughs> same logic will check with the 10 and 15 so in this case, let me run. It is now going to give me five or not. So when I run, it is now going to give me five. So let me check how it will work. Number one is 10 and number two is 15. Now what we are going to check if number one is zero, no, then it is now repeated. Uh, it calls my same function. Now number one is 10. Number two is 15. Now 15 reminder 10 mod 10. Now that is going to be 15 reminder 10 is going to be five. Now this five, we are going to pass it to number one and then uh, now the number one is 10 now then 10 will come here so now this is 5 this is 10 now what exactly happens now here the number one has now become 5 now this is not true so it comes here 5 mod 10 sorry 10 mod 5 so the reminder is going to be 0 now this 0 we are just passing it here and then number one is just 5 this 5 we are passing it to number 2 and then now number one will, will become zero. Now if number one is zero, number two will be your greatest common divisor, nothing but the five. So now we are just returning this with five. Or let me check with the other one, like uh, 36 and then 60. Now in this case, the same formula will be applied. And then when you run, you're going to get the greatest common divisor as two, 12. So these are the two approaches that Euclidean algorithm follows. Either you can use uh, the subtraction approach or you can use a div division approach which will give you the greatest common divisor in both approaches.